Hello everyone, my name is Rudra Preet and I am from ECB section and my role number ends with 4E1 and my topic for the concept video and the subject control systems is about lag compensator so let's begin with the introduction uh, coming to the definition the lag compensator is an electrical network which produces a sinusoidal output having the phase lag when a sinusoidal input is applied the lag compensator circuit in the edge domain is shown in the following figure and here we have the resistances and capacitances connected and the input of input voltage is towards the left side of the circuit and the output voltage is obtained towards the right side and we have divided this into two loops uh, using Kirchhoff voltage law and Kirchhoff current law now first we apply KVL in the above circuit uh, considering I of T is the current flowing through the loop in time domain therefore we write the equation as V input of T is equal to I of T into R1 by using Ohm's law where V equal to IR and similarly for the R2 resistance and 1 by C integral of I of T dt we know to determine the response of the system its transfer function must be determined therefore the transfer function is given as the ratio of output to the input and this must, all, this must also be in the frequency domain so further we will take the Laplace transform of the above equation we get V of S equal to I of S into R1 plus R2 plus 1 by SC where R1 and R2 are resistances and C is the capacitance now coming to the loop 2 where output voltage is given as I of T into R2 plus 1 by C integral of I of T dt and this can be rewritten as I of S into R2 plus 1 by SC and therefore we get the final equation as I of S which is equal to V naught of S by R2 plus 1 by SC. On substituting the above value of I of S in Laplace equation of input voltage, we will get V I of S equal to V naught of S by R2 plus 1 by SC whole multiplied by R1 plus R2 plus 1 by SC. And we get the final expression as V naught of S by V I of S given by 1 by beta into S plus 1 by T whole divided by S plus 1 by beta of T. And hence on comparison we get the T as R2 into C and similarly we get the beta as R1 plus R2 by R2. Hence this shows that zero of the lag compensator will be present as S equal to minus 1 by T. And the pole will be located at S equal to minus 1 by beta into T. And this is the final expression and of the zero and the pole obtained. And the zero is... A, will be present as S equal to minus 1 by T and the pole will be present at S equal to minus 1 by beta into T. Now coming to the pole since beta is greater than 1 therefore the pole of the transfer function is more dominating than 0. The figure below represents the pole 0 plot of the lag compensator. Generally beta is considered as 10. This is the reason when lag compensator is seri serially connected to the control system then a negative phase angle is introduced the imaginary <coughs> part is given on the y axis while the real part is given on drawn on the x axis and we have also plotted the uh, points s equal to minus 1 by t and s equal to minus 1 by beta t toward on with respect to the real part and the imaginary part <coughs> now coming to the advantages of lag compensator the phase lag network offers high gain at low frequency therefore it performs the function of a low pass filter and since the lag network offers high gain at low frequency uh, we can say the, it is a it is a functionality of a low pass filter and the introduction of this network increases the steady state performance of the system the lag network also offers a reduction in bandwidth and this provides longer rise time and settling time and so the transient response <coughs> and therefore the introduction of this network increases the steady state performance of the system now coming to the disadvantage of the lag compensator <coughs> in lag compensator the attenuation that is the loss of signal offered by it shifts the gain crossover frequency to a lower point thereby decreasing the bandwidth Though the system response is longer due to the decreased bandwidth, however, the response is quite slow. 
A control system with a lag network shows more sensitivity towards variation in the parameters than a system with a lead network. Like in lead compensator, in lag compensator also, due to the addition of external network, some loss of signal is introduced. <coughs> Therefore, the overall gain must be increased to handle the attenuation. But this will also increase the requirement of more elements and so the cost and space requirement. A lag compensator somewhat acts as a proportional plus integral controller, also adversely affecting the stability of the system. <coughs> So this is about the information regarding the lag compensator. Hope you all understood about this. And this also acts as a proportional plus integral controller. <coughs> These are the advantages and disadvantages of the lag compensator. Hope you all understood about this. Thank you. See you again. Okay.